Brand new video, Pro Dumpster Diver, back at it again. I got a juicy one for you today, and I found a little something that I think will actually freak you guys out, but we'll, we'll do that last right now, okay? So, start off with that. I saw on a Facebook post somebody actually had some Apple computers and printers. I wasn't in time for the Apple computer, but I did find an Epson CX4400 printer. I plugged in with Office Depot that said it might have enough ink, but we pulled it up, and it's got ink in there. So I am going to take it home. I am going to try it out and test it out. If not, I already know how to take the gold out of it and also the scanner bar in there. However, I think the scanner works, so I might keep it because I definitely might be able to use that for the books that I actually have. We got some LEDs here, which may actually be lights. I think this came out of an exit sign, but the good part is if I do have some power, I do want to test this. These either would be red or white. But I definitely do want to try these out because they're all connected in succession. And if I could actually hook this up to the backlight of a room or the back of a TV, it may actually work out. So very happy about that. Found this sucker here. I haven't actually seen one of these. Let me actually show you guys this weird thing here. This is an actual air pump. It actually sucks air in. It can actually suck air out. The difference is it's actually got two pieces here that I like. This might be able to use for an air bed. But this here... is very, very powerful. And I do like that, and I actually found three of them, and I'm happy about it. So I can actually use these to inflate large balloons if I need to for private stuff. And guess what I also found? An entire pack of Energizer batteries here. Now these are the miniature ones. I might not be able to use these, but this is actually pretty nice. I do definitely wanna go ahead and da, 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 strip of 10. Uh, I wonder when it expires. I will probably pop one open. But to find packs like this is nice. If I actually found one of these, it would be pretty good. Got this here out of a school dumpster. This is La, La Ve Delta. It's one of the T strainers. There. It's very nice. It's actually packaged very well. So I have a feeling something like this might be $10 or so. Depends on what it is. I'll look it up online. I found a Dell charger. I'm keeping this boy. I'm keeping this bad boy right here. Don't know why you threw it out, but I will test it because I already know that if I plug it in, the light here will actually come on. That tells me that it actually still works, so it's pretty good. Found some tools in there. Very nice scissors. Cuisinart, name brand. Found a pair of wire pliers. I am happy and excited. Why? Because the one I bought, and I keep buying these. I have to buy one like every three months, okay? And I keep losing them for some odd reason. Got USB cables here and then ended up getting a nice power strip here, which is very nice to have, all right? Got some wires. They had some boxes of wire out there. Definitely pulled them out. This may not be a Cat5, but it may have about three wires in there. If it does, I can use this for wiring for these LEDs. Boom, all right? Next thing, let's get to these computers. Someone threw these heavy boys out and they are heavy i did open them up because i did want to see what was actually in them i didn't find any hard drives in it so what we have inside is the dvd writer okay we have an intel i core core i5 very nice looking inside we still have the units we still have the cd rom to actually install software we still have the cpu still have the fan inside of it have a dual fan and have another fan here. So you actually have the power unit in there. It does not have a hard drive at all, but I do see the plugs for the hard drive as well in here. So basically now I already know that they pulled the hard drives out. That's fine. I have no problem with you guys doing that at all. You absolutely should. You never want to leave the hard drives in with information. Take them out, wipe them to Best Buy. You can take it to a recycling plant and they'll go ahead and get rid of it for you. Now, the good part is this is a nice, complete system. OK, because all you need is the plugs and it also has HDMI as well. I guess this had belonged to an old restaurant. They might have used it just for the cashier system, but that's good. So, again, to have miniature desktops like this is definitely very good. I will be keeping them because to have an extra backup computer is always definitely good to have. So I got three of them, by the way, which is good. I could turn them on, but I'm not going to. I am going to keep these. However, I have now, to add to the collection, the 
nice desktops that I have. The thin ones, if you look in the previous videos, you'll see them. But I am excited about that. All right, so let's get to the funny shit, right? You guys are like, dude, what the hell is in that pack? So I found this here, and I want you guys to stay for the video. This is something interesting that I haven't seen, but I am going to try it out. This here is called Fast Abs. It's an electronic massage fitness belt. You're like, what? Yeah, this is it. Okay, this is actually what it is. So the back part here, okay, if you read the directions there, okay, you put gel on this part here, okay? This has an actual battery inside of it, and then you press on. And what you do is you apply it to your body, and it's supposed to stimulate your body there. It actually has the strap in it, and it actually has the gel, which is interesting. So I'm actually gonna clean that off. Now, I was like, there's no way this actually helps build abs. It uses contraction or something like that right now. Like it has a workout guide, massage programs, and I'm like, there's no way I found something like this that's in the trash, right? Like, does this actually work to build abs? If you guys are watching this video, let me know if this, yeah, yeah. But muscle contractions build strength. It's the same principle behind all hard crunches and sit-ups, but now science has taken the hard work out of the hard workout. Light electronic stimulation makes muscles contract and relax. This is interesting. So will I be using it? I will definitely try this out. I'm gonna clean it off with some rubbing alcohol right now, and then uh, I'll, I'll try it out. I will definitely be trying this out. I'll let you guys know. It's a funny thing to actually see people have stuff like this here, but yeah. Yeah, it's, it's an electronic ab builder. One of the best ab things I found is somebody actually threw out an ab machine that was in the garbage. It was like a $300 ab machine. I still have it in my storage unit, which is one of the best things that I actually ended up getting, but I am excited about that. Whew. All right, I have a lot of videos to upload right now. Backlog, probably maybe nine videos. So if you guys see this, it's not done on the same day because I just uploaded one yesterday. So I'm trying to upload one every other day. I find new stuff at the job, new stuff at dumpsters. I was dumpster diving today, found new stuff, and I am excited about it. All right. So this is what we got. Now, what's this worth? Right. Which is the question that somebody asked, like the original, I think it might have been the first comment. What's it worth? Okay. Now, what would I throw out? I could throw all this in the garbage right now, but I don't want to. One, I freaking got desktop computers right now, which are very nice. They have no hard drive in them, but I got hard drive stacks. So one, I'd say each of them is probably worth maybe what do we have, an, a Core i5? Probably about 50 bucks a piece, which you could actually use. The printer, if it works, I, you know, it's an older printer. I'd probably say maybe 10 bucks, maybe five bucks right now. If it doesn't work, I can always scrap it and take the gold out because it's definitely got some gold in there. The batteries are interesting. That's a full pack of 10. And it doesn't even look old. To be honest, it doesn't really even look old at all. You might have just bought this at a store, so definitely keep that. The air pumps are actually pretty good. Those might have been used for air beds. It might have been a college thing they had. Who knows? The laptop chargers are quick sells. We already know that. So all in all, I'd probably say everything to wrap it up, about $200 right there, about, about 200 bucks right now. The wire I'm keeping, the desktops I'm keeping, the printer, I'll probably take that home and check it out right now. And yeah, everything else I'm actually keeping. I'm definitely keeping the wire cutters, man, because I keep buying them. I don't know where they go. I'd probably eat them. All right, guys, this is what we got today. It is beautiful. All right? I'm, I'm absolutely... Oh, shoot. One other thing. I found this strap right here, and I also found this. This, I thought, was a bracelet of some sort. This is APL or something. But this is... It's a one-piece thing. It connects somehow. It might go to somebody's wrist or something there. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? But... It is nice, and I actually do like it. All right, so that's what we got today right now. Pro Dumpster Diver, 